Hello nerds! So this week we've got something super fun for you. Epic Armory has been kind enough to send us some of their new line of weapons to test out. I'm freaking excited! <laughs> anyway, yeah. We took them to an actual LARP event, we gave them to some of our nerd friends to use while they NPC'd, and we are going to give you the consensus on these beautiful blades. So the first thing I want to say about these swords is that they are beautiful, like, gorgeous. The detail on the, on all, like, every handguard and pommel is amazing. Like, this is the most basic one, and it's like, like this one with the finger guard. Normally, like, stuff like this and this is really hard to do when they're foam swords, but this is just like, you know, still pretty flexible, but it doesn't look like it was cut out of a marshmallow with a razor blade. <laughs> So these swords are generally pretty whippy. It depends on which one you use, but they all have some bounce back to them, which is actually good because that means that they are going to hurt less on impact. We did have a slight bubbling issue. We were at an elevation of about 5,000 feet with some pretty high, like, like mid-90s temperatures, the sun just glaring down on us, so it could have been due to either of those things, and it was on this sword. Um, once we got back down to sea level, the bubble went away entirely, and you can't even tell that it was ever there. Like, I mean, I certainly can't. I didn't even remember which sword had the bubble in it. So. And as I said before, they are absolutely gorgeous. Like, the hilt and the pommels are made with a much harder material than a normal sword, so you can't go around, like, you know, hitting people on the head with your pommel. But the harder material will make it last longer, probably, and it makes it much easier to capture the insane amount of detail that these swords have. But don't just take my word for it. Here's what our nerd friends had to say. This is the weapon that I was given to use this weekend. When I first saw it, I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Like, the, the design in the hilt and the coloring throughout the blade is really fantastic. I thought it looked like maybe like a sword from like Skyrim. Like the work on it was really, really like well done and somebody took a lot of time into it. They looked really good. Like, I mean, they had a lot of detail in them. They looked like good, normal, well done metal blades. The handles are great. All the different styles that they had make a good variation of stuff. I have generally weak wrists, so a lot of weapons are too heavy for me to carry for long periods of time because my wrists will start to hurt. But this one, I, I found I was able to wield really easily for a long period of time. For me, with swords, I tend to be a little bit slower when I kind of hit people. I still had that same effect, but I felt like it was a little bit more lighter and I felt like I could do more with it. I think it just like felt like more comfy and it was like more reliable. They were fun. They're, they were easy to move. They were light, especially if you're using short blades. They work really well for short blades. I'd love to see some of their longer blades to see how that weight feels as well. But these ones were fantastic for what we, for what I used them for at least. I love it. Um, I, I wish the, the pommel was a little softer, um, but that's really like my only complaint. The only thing I noticed was on t a couple of them, two of them I think, there were some bubbles that appeared. Or it could be, you know, something that happened up here because we're up at high altitudes with large variations in temperature. So that's just something to keep in note when you're taking care of them. So that's it for this week, nerds. I would say that Epic Armory has created a gorgeous, lightweight, and durable product. The disappearing bubble in only one sword being the only problem that I can find, and that may have just been a fluke. So if you like what you see on our show and you want to see more, please consider making a small pledge to us on our Patreon page because we have big dreams and tiny wallets and that's what we actually do. And for those who pledge a little bit more, I will give video responses to questions asked. Or you can mosey on down to our Etsy store if you like handmade props and prosthetics. If you have any questions, comments, emotional outbursts, please feel free to message us. We are on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and Instagram, although Facebook is probably the best way to get in contact with us. And as always, nerds, like us, subscribe to us, fight with us. Shut up, Bridge! Nobody wants you! Look at her little Yoda face. Approve of the swords, I do.